everyone. How are you? Welcome back. And I want to wish you all a happy Easter. The video that you just saw before this one is the really the reason why I'm making this one. <laughs> um, I have purchased a few things in the last couple days that I wanted to do kind of a haul only because it's a, a brand that we don't see a whole lot of here on YouTube. I wanted to show you guys these things so that I can get them put away because before I or when I buy something and it just kind of sits on my desk until I make a video of it so that I don't have to dig it all back out, you know. And I got such a mess going on back here that I want this stuff. I want to be able to put this away, so I want to show you real quick, okay? Emily Noel, 89. No, no, no. That's Jam Beauty. Emily Noel, we all know who she is, 83, I think. She has been talking about, or she has previously talked about, and then she mentioned again the other day, she put an Instagram post up of how much she forgot she loved the Neutrogena Moisture Shines. And so I just went down. I don't know what the hell... I, I don't know what's wrong with me sometimes, but she had the uh, fresh papaya one, and I went down and bought the fresh papaya that day that I watched her video. I was going anyways. I mean, I didn't go all the way into town just for that, but so I went in and I did my stuff, and I bought. I stopped at CVS and got a few things and picked up the fresh papaya. Well, I get out to my car and I'm on my way home, and I unwrap it and I put it on, and I really love the color, but that that smell. It's papaya you smelling, you know, like peaches or something, and I cannot, I loathe peaches. I loathe that smell, I loathe the color, everything. And so, even though you see me wear a peach shirt sometimes, it, it looks good with my skin tone, but that's the only reason why. But I turned around, and I took that fresh papaya one straight back, and I bought four of the other ones. I wish I would have just kept the one, it would have saved me $40. Anyways, um, I only got three of them here because I dropped one behind my desk, and I'm going to have to send my grandson down there to get it. And I wanted to show you the ones I got. These are fan friggin tastic, you guys. I know everybody listens to Emily. You know, her recommendations are always spot on. These are the most moisturizing, gorgeous chubby sticks. And I actually think of the several dozen chubby sticks that I have, I've been using these more. And I think I will probably use these more than any other ones I got. Um, I don't know how many there are on the line. They, I only picked up the four that they had on the shelf apart from the fresh papaya. So this one is warm caramel. And that is that color right there. It's just a nude. I mean, you can barely see it on my hand there, especially on my skin tone. These are so soft and moisturizing and... They last a decent time as long as I would want them to. This one is called Plum Perfect. And it's just kind of a wash of color. You know, you're not getting a serious, you know, deep lip. But for what they are, I think the pigmentation on them is pretty good. And this one is Rich Raisin. And the other one I got is Sweet Watermelon. But again, it's underneath my desk here. <laughs> so, yeah, those are the Neutrogena Color Shines. Moisture Smooth Color Stick, and they are fantastic. So, if you guys have a chance to get a hold of those, they're really, really nice. Really nice. Now, I had just walked into Walgreens the other day when the woman was just putting out the tag that their uh, Jordana lip liners and eyeliners were going on sale, and I got these all for like 69 cents a piece. And I was I'm just really, really stoked, and so I thought I would show you them. I got a green and a purple um, waterproof eyeliners. Let me show you what those look like real quick. You can see which one is which. Aren't those pretty? The colors are vivid. Oh, they're gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then, I don't know why I got this one. I must have been thinking it was a purple lip liner, and that's what I'll use it for. But it's actually a purple eyeliner. And it's a kind of a violet-y color. And that's what I'm going to use it for, is to outline purple lips when I do them. Okay? And then I got four lip liners, and, um, I don't know, I don't know, swatch them for you. But these were only 69 cents. This one is Tawny. And it's the one that I'm wearing now. It's just a slightly mauve neutral, nude-ish color. And then uh, Rock and Rose, and I think this is kind of a cult classic. I see a lot of people have this on here. And that's kind of a neutral, neutral color. And then uh, Baby Berry, and it's more of a pinky color. 
really pretty. You know, a man's eye, you'd never be able to tell the difference between these. At least my husband's didn't. <laughs> and this one's tawny. And I see tons of people have this one, too. So that one's tawny. But anyways, yeah, uh, 69 cents down at your Walgreens right now, you guys. Or at least they are at my Walgreens. I don't know if they do that everywhere or not. But. So, yeah. And then I showed, um, I took a picture and put it on Instagram of this mineral makeup that I got off of Hot Look. It was on a whim, you know. It was one of those impulse purchases. And I picked it up. And i got to tell you, I'm pretty damn happy with it. I never in a million years would I have taken this for anything but junk because, for one thing, look at the packaging. I know a lot of you might think that the gray and the hot pink is pretty, but it's like kids' makeup, you know? I think the packaging is cheap and, and low-budget looking. When you take the top off, it gets even worse. <laughs> it's a brush. A stiff, horrible, painty-type brush. And you twist it like this. And then you, you know, get a, you squeeze it to get a little bit of the product out. And then you twist it back so that you don't get too much. And the one that I have is called Radiant Beige. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Oh, yeah, you should be able to. And oddly enough, this matches my skin tone really well. When I put it up here on my face because my neck and everything is so red from the lupus, this actually matches really well. Um, you have no choice but to put it on with this goofy brush. But I just brushed it on, and then, I, of course, I buffed it in with one of my brushes. And it wore beautiful all day long. I was just absolutely shocked. Uh, and I've, I've wore it a couple times, and I haven't had any breakouts, haven't had no problems. So I'm going to be experimenting with this a little bit more. Um, the days that I wore it, and it lasted all day, good coverage, it didn't break down. Really good coverage. Really, really good coverage. And didn't break down, didn't start getting cakey, didn't settle in the lines, nothing like that. It wore just like a mineral makeup, which is what it is. It's a liquid mineral. Um, and I was really happy with it. I was completely shocked. I, I wore it on a day when I knew I was just going to be around the house. You know, spring stuff, there's plenty to do. And uh, I was expecting to have to go wash my face after an hour or two, you know. Hell, tell you the truth, I was expecting to put it on and wash it right off, but I didn't. And I really, really liked it. So I'm going to keep wearing it for a while and let you guys know what I think about it. Not that I really have the viewer base yet to put the word out about something that um, everybody should look into. But normally, I bought it for $12 off a of Hot Look, and normally they're $30. Bucks. Um, it wore gorgeous, gorgeous, you guys. I was really, really impressed with it. So I will get back to you on that. And then I got three nail polishes. I'm a nail polish whore. I got a green, a gold, and a really pale yellow from the Simple Color line. And then I got a big matte top coat from Sally Hansen. Um, I got a cucumber peel-off mask. I got L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream in the fairest, lightest one they have because my, my IT... BB cream or CC cream that I just got in my kit the other day that I was waiting for to make that video is in tan and it is too dark for me right now. Too dark. <laughs> and I thought that it wouldn't be because the, the medium is a little too light. You know, I've got to warm the medium up quite a bit. And so I thought the tan would be a good, but it's not. It's too dark. So I got this to, since I'm out of the medium, I got this to put in there a little bit. I actually ordered another one of those kits. Uh, <laughs> I did. I ordered another kit. The medium, it's only, you know, there's no jump in between there. The medium's too light, the tan's too dark, so I'm going to always have to mix them. So I figured I might as well just get another jumbo size, another one of those killer paddle brushes, which I adore. I love it. Um, it's really good for under eyes, and I place the BB cream or the CC cream on my face with it. I don't buff it in with that, but I place it. Um, and, of course, well, we'll talk about that. Okay, I was at... Um, Ulta the other day and they were having a sale, 50% sale off on all the Pop Beauty. Now I don't know if you guys know this, but Pop Beauty is kind of the higher end uh, sister makeup, or not really, it's just, it's the same company, it's just like the high end of the Pixie line. And they had everything 50% off and almost pretty much everything was gone. And as I was getting ready to leave, the girl comes out and she says, oh look, I found a crate and I got some uh, 
palettes that I wanted to show you guys. These ones here costed me $12 each. And this one cost me $13, I think. Uh, I was really happy about this. I was so stoked. I left here thinking, I left Ulta thinking, woohoo! <laughs> I was so happy. But then I got home and I opened it up and I swatched them and I was not happy at all. However, let me show you. I'm going to show you how these things swatch. The colors, they look beautiful. I mean, look at that. It's, they're just gorgeous. But then when you go to swatch them, and let me watch. They'll swatch fine right now just because I've been saying this. Let me take a yellow. Okay, let's see. Yeah, of course. <laughs> when I first brought them home, they didn't swatch well. And they're still kind of chalky and... Uh, you know, they're still kind of chalky, and I don't know if you can see where they, it appears that they've skipped over my skin. And then I got this one. This is just kind of in uh, darker colors. This one here is called Smokin' Hot, and this one is called Bright Delight. Okay, and let me swatch some of these ones to see if they go on like that again. Because when I originally swatched these, they were not good swatches. There you go. And, you know, I swatch just as heavy as I did this one and look they just didn't come off good at all and I thought man that's why they're on 50% off that's why you don't hear anybody say anything about them on YouTube not very much anyway you know a few out of this bigger one here that's kind of looks like an elf palette and you know the packaging on these products are really crappy really really crappy um, they are just like the old elf stuff so let me Let's see. And there's the swatch out of that one. You see that? Yeah, there you go. So when I first got these and brought them home, you know, I got all three palettes for 30 bucks. There's a hell of a lot of product in them. A little over $30. And I thought, actually, no, it was 40 I guess. <laughs> Still, I mean, that's a killer deal. And I thought, you know, when I started messing around with the packaging, the packaging is just absolutely crap. You know, I mean, totally like the Elf Christmas set kind of packaging. It just blows. The only thing that's different is it's got a little bit more decoration on the front. But when I went to use them, that was an entirely different story. These things, they laid down really well. They blended out really well. Um, as, with a brush, the pigmentation is not only there, but they look gorgeous. They, they, they look great. Fantastic. So if you guys happen to get to your Ulta and you see that Pop Beauty is on half off and you know you come on I don't know I came on YouTube to see if there was anybody talking much about it because I don't I'm not really familiar with this brand and there wasn't there wasn't a whole lot and the ones that I did find you know people were talking about how bad they swatched in the store and these did as well but when you get them home and start playing with them they are quite pretty God, 16 minutes already and that is all I wanted to tell you. And I just wanted to show you guys this so that I could finally put it away and get it off the top of my desk. <laughs> so, oh, and I got this one too. iStudio Maybelline and the iStudio little things here have come out with four limited editions, uh, special edition, you know, palettes. And I don't know what the other three are. The green caught my eye and I never saw any, from, you know, I didn't look beyond that. I got this one and it was the only one I got. So if you guys collect these, which I would love to, but to be honest, I just don't have, I don't know, I'm trying to recognize, you know, I'm trying to, when I see all the pretty colors down at the drugstore, I'm trying to tell myself, Julie, you've already got more eyeshadows than you will ever use in 20 lifetimes. Why are you getting more? And I'll sit there and I'll look at it and think, do I have those colors? And yes, of course I have those colors, but... This one's green, <laughs> and that's my favorite, so I got more of them. And that is those right there. Look at those. Oh, I think it looks better if I pull back. Are those gorgeous? And the uh, Yellowstone Morning Glory pool eyeball that I did the other day was done with this and um, Max Copperling, I believe. So, yeah, that is what I got. And, um... I'm going to let you know about this stuff, but I'm telling you, it wore beautiful the couple days that I have worn it. You know, I mean, it's what I have on my face now. It just, 
it matches me perfectly. But apparently this line has, um, there's only like four or five shades and they color match to your specific skin. So I don't know, we'll see, but I know that it wears well. It looks gorgeous. Uh, I'm kind of excited about this. It's not like that much cheaper than, you know, it's more expensive than drugstore, but it's not cheaper than high end. I mean, you know, maybe by a couple bucks, but that's it. So basically it's high end priced. So I will let you know about that. That is all. That's all I got to show you guys. I just wanted to get, I know you guys weren't expecting a little haul from me, but I wanted to get this crap off of my desk, and I wanted to show you guys stuff that I did not get from IMATS. <laughs> this was not an IMATS haul. All right, you guys, I hope you all are having a wonderful Easter, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.